The state of Michigan is a lot more than automobile factories and other heavy industries. With the longest freshwater coastline in the world, thanks to more than 3,000 miles of shorelines along the Great Lakes of Michigan, Superior, and Huron, beautiful forests, and an abundance of historic points of interest, it's a great place to explore. We headed out to some northern parts of the state with both a Cadillac Escalade Hybrid and a Ford F-150 for a look around at some of the sites. Michigan is made up of two peninsulas divided by the Mackinac Straits connecting Lake Huron and Lake Michigan. The five mile long Mackinac Bridge, built in 1957, connects the upper and lower peninsulas. The southern terminus of the bridge is in Mackinac City, a center of tourism activity in the area, where you can visit Fort McKilly Mackinac, built in 1715, and other historic sites along the lake shores and around town. The lighthouse here is just one of some 115 that dot the land along the lakes. This is also the northern end of one of the many branches of the former Dixie Highway that once connected portions of the Midwest to Florida. From Mackinac City or St. Ignace at the north end of the bridge, you can take a ferry to Mackinac Island for a step back in time. You'll have to leave your car behind though, as motor vehicles aren't allowed on the small island. All over the rest of the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan though, you'll find all sorts of scenic, historic, and just plain interesting spots to drive to. Here's just a taste of what you can enjoy. At the Sleeping Bear Dunes National Seashore, you can view the remains of glacial activity from 11,000 years ago with the sand deposits along the shore of Lake Michigan. Bluffs rise nearly 500 feet above the shoreline and provide spectacular views of the lake and the surrounding terrain. The Pierce Stocking Scenic Drive provides access to numerous viewpoints and hiking trails. A maritime museum at Sleeping Bear Point gives some further background on the area's history and many of the reminders of the dangers of navigating the Great Lakes waters. In fact, all throughout the region, you'll find an abundance of museums recounting the past activities on the lake and scuba diving to the thousands of well-preserved shipwrecks resting at the bottoms of the lakes is a very popular activity. In the northeast corner of the state, you'll find the oldest town in Michigan, Sault Ste. Marie. Located at the Canadian border, across from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, the city is home to the Sioux Locks, which allow ships to navigate the elevation change between Lake Superior and Lake Huron. More than 95 million tons of freight pass through the locks each year on this busy shipping lane. A park runs alongside the locks and allows viewing of the locks in operation, while a visitor center provides information on the history, design, and function of the locks. Farther west, poking out into Lake Michigan, the Garden Peninsula is the location of the ghost town of Fayette. This once bustling community was founded in 1867 around the iron industry. With its proximity to the Jackson Iron Company's mine, deep natural harbor, and abundant supplies of the hardwood and limestone needed for the smelting process, Fayette boomed, but then busted in 1891 when production ceased due to changes in market demand. Today, the town site is a Michigan State Park with a visitor center 
and furnished buildings giving a look at what life was like here during Fayette's heyday. On the northern side of the Upper Peninsula, overlooking Lake Superior, you'll find Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore, extending some 40 miles along the water. With eroded cliffs rising 200 feet above the lake's surface, you'll find some great views here. However, the best views of the cliffs are reserved for those who cruise out on the lake, either on their own watercraft or on tour boats. There's a whole lot more to see and enjoy in these relatively sparsely populated portions of Michigan. Whether you're looking for forests, beaches, harbor towns, or historic sites. In our travels with our Cadillac Escalade Hybrid and Ford F-150, we had very comfortable, capable accommodations to enjoy the scenery while we gobbled up the expansive miles of uncrowded paved and unpaved roads the area has to offer. While each of our four-wheel drive vehicles certainly had their own distinct and different personality and focus, both offered the space, comfort features, performance, confident responses, and driving enjoyment to make our time on the road a pleasure. Fuel mileage with our hybrid Cadillac came in at right around 20 miles per gallon, while our 5-liter V8 Ford turned in right around 19 miles for each gallon we put in. These northern portions of Michigan, on both the Lower Peninsula and Upper Peninsula, are very worthy vacation destinations, with a wide variety of activities to enjoy. Remember though, that with the harsh winter weather of the area, most attractions are seasonal in their operations. Of course, if you're looking for winter sports activities, you'll find plenty of that when the snow flies too. In any case, don't just think of factories and big cities when you think of Michigan.